Benson has obvious power. He is not yet homered in the big leagues. Swung to right! Benson's first home run is a walk-off winner! Oh my goodness, there is some specialness happening here with this ball club. And everyone is partaking in the party. Will Benson's first major league home run is a walk-off homer. He's facing Kyle Tucker, who hits a high fly ball, deep right center. Back toward the fence is Cody Bellinger, and leaping. Did he make the catch? Yeah, he did. He made an unbelievable yeah, catch. Possibly stole a home run with an impossible play on the warning track. A leaping catch against the wall. He fell forward, held on to the ball. The inning is over. There's a drive. Shohei Otani gets the Angels on the board with his 30th home run. An absolute rocket. You make one mistake to this guy. One mistake. And Tommy finally made it. And Shohei did not miss that ball. He is truly fun to watch. He is turned into the best power threat in baseball. As Kerry Carpenter hits one to center field, backpedaling Kiermaier, jumps, and he's got it! He took a home run away! Oh my goodness! How do you like the new confines? Kevin Kiermaier went over the baby blue line and ripped it out of the sky! The set in the 0-1. Curve ball put in the air, right center field, hit well. Going back is Mullins, still racing after it, lunges after it, he makes a catch! On the warning track, diving head first in front of the LED board. You will see that one on highlight reels all night from Cedric Mullins. And what a time for a young man making his major league debut, looking for his first big league hit to step in the box. High fly, deep to center, Trout watches it go! Hit Samad way to wait for the opportune time. That is special. The man of the moment. Popped up. Foul ground. Long run for Machado. Trying the over the shoulder. And he catches it. A bobble or two, but he makes the catch. Oh, I hope Manny okay. Machado over the shoulder makes the grab a couple of times. And Moustakas is out number two. That is one of the most incredible plays that you'll ever see. The juggling act, the glove, keep it up in the air, time it perfectly, catches it barehanded. Wow. In the air along the line in right. Long way to go for Jake. Foul with ground, and he's got it. And he's up and over the wall. Jake McCarthy. How about wow. that? Jake McCarthy up and over. And he gets Dre Jameson out of a big jam. What a catch from Jake McCarthy. He goes head first over the wall, lands on his head, gets up like nothing. I mean, this guy, he is a running back. Two and one. Hit well, left center field. Robert on the run into the alley, sliding try. Robert, oh my goodness. Luis Robert Jr. somehow got to that ball to make an absolutely Ridiculous catch. Oh, what a play! Luis Robert with one of the best catches you'll ever see. In the air, left field. Zawinski running out of room. Does he have it? He's got it. Oh, my goodness. Wow, he sold his haul. I'd like to report a robbery. He just robbed Mookie Betts of a three run homer. Sawinski returns to the dugout. Now he's got to face Ellie De La Cruz, who appeared to be consciously pitched around at times in his major league debut. Oh, goodness! <laughs> that ball had a family! In game two, his first home run, a two-run bomb! John, that wasn't just a home run. That ball almost exited the ballpark. The hardest hit ball by a red this year. 
That was nearly 115. It brought everyone to their feet. So the bases are loaded for Mountcastle, who has only knocked in five. High fly ball left oh, field. Did he? Yes, he did. As grand as it gets. 456 feet, and we just said, Mounties sit on that slider, and he got one right in the heart of the plate. Nine RBI nights for Ryan Mountcastle. Ramirez inching down the line. He's going to try to steal home. Oh, no. And he's out. Ramirez says challenge the play. Jose thinks he beat him. How about that? Jose Ramirez trying to steal home plate. He says he got the hand in before the tag of Perez. After review, the call on the field is overturned. Runner's safe. How about that? Jose Ramirez has stolen home plate. High in the air center field. Robert Jr. back at the wall. He leaps. Oh, he brought it back. How did he do it? Luis Robert Jr. somehow absolutely thieves one from Chapman. Oh, my Lord. Go ahead and put it on the highlight reel, folks. This is one of the best plays of the year, I can promise. Right field over. Brennan dives. What a catch. An incredible diving effort by Will Brennan. He hangs on. He never reached out to the last second. A tumbling diving grab right near the warning track in right. As fine a catch as you will see by a right fielder. Trace Thompson, the Dodgers star of the game. Grand slam in the first, a three run shot in the fifth. No way, no way. Trace Thompson, stop it for the third time. What a night for Trace Thompson. He has knocked in eight. And the Dodgers lead 10 to 1. The three years that he didn't play in the big leagues probably seems a long way away right now. Wow. JT with his second attempt at the double for the cycle. He's got a homer, a triple, a single. That one's out toward left center field. Going back on it is Carroll. It's over his head. And it's off the top of the wall. JT will pull into second base. He's got a cycle. It's the first one for the Phillies since 2004. And for JT Real Muto, it's his first as well. A little history here in the desert for the Phils. It's 0-2. And now Holderman's one pitch away from an immaculate inning here in the seventh. Swing and a miss. He struck out the side. Beautiful inning for Colin Holderman. That was an immaculate inning. Was it nine pitches? Nine pitches, an immaculate inning for Colin Holderman. That's amazing. Look at that. That's immaculate. One more. Can he get it? 0-2. Oh, Got him. Got him, immaculate. Oviedo. Oviedo strikes out the side in that fourth inning, and he does so on nine pitches. An immaculate inning for Johan Oviedo. And so far, the Pirates coming up with their second immaculate inning of the month. Colin Holderman did it at Tampa Bay. And before that, it was Juan Nicasio back in 2016, so it had been a while. Caprillion throws and is swung on lifted third base side, foul territory, long run, Peterson toward the bullpen, on the bullpen mounds, and he makes an unbelievable catch, goes head over heels, and he goes into the ace area where they, the bullpen guys are sitting, and an amazing catch by Jace Peterson. An incredible catch for the last out. Luis Arise, second most singles in baseball last year, needs one of those right here for the first cycle in the history of the Marlins. Pitch clock down to one, and that is going to get down a base hit. The first cycle in Marlins franchise history, Luis Arise. The final piece of the puzzle, the last team in baseball without one, and Luis Arise is the guy. So here's Byron Buxton, first pitch swinging out towards left field. On the run, Austin Hayes reaches out a diving catch. Austin Hayes. Spectacular play in left field. Put him on the all-star team. If he wasn't an all-star, he might be one now.
This is about as good as it gets. And Buxton, I'm telling you what, Byron Buxton smokes this ball. Just a rocket off the bat, but Hayes an outstanding jump. And I mean, lays out. Buxy at first, nobody out, eighth inning. Crack down the line. Back to the corner goes Judge. It is caught by Aaron Judge. Wow. It is so much more than just the home runs. He is Superman. This is a big human being catching the ball and just blowing up the bullpen fence. Wow. The starting pitcher, the left-hander, Andrew Heaney. Swing and a miss, strike three. There's Heaney getting the chase on the fastball. Swing and a miss. He struck him out. The fastball strikes out Dozier, and Heaney has all four of his outs with a strikeout. And that is strike three call. He strikes out the side in order this time. Giving the Royals hitters headaches. Swing and a miss. This time with the slider. Well, if anything, Andrew Heaney can say he's done something in a Rangers uniform that Nolan Ryan never accomplished. Ooh. Strike three. He got him. And Andrew Heaney has just tied an American League record for consecutive strikeouts. Line drive, left center field, Badu hauls it in. What a play by Akil Badu. A perfect route, a great jump, and a beautiful play. Laying out for a pitch on the track, he got a great jump. I didn't think he had a chance at that ball. What a play. All started with the break he got, saw that ball at the bat, took an excellent angle, and just cut that ball off in the gap. Fantastic play, Akil Badu. Stop down viewing right now. Here is Adolis Garcia. How about the distance of those two home runs? 852 feet. And he hits this ball well. Jeez. Deep out to left field. Doesn't have enough. Gone! Third of the night. It's 13 to 2. Are you kidding me, Chris Blake? <laughs> Adolis Garcia hits a rainbow home run that just makes it into the Oakland bullpen. His third two-run home run tonight. Strider, four regular season appearances against the Phillies prior to tonight. There's a called third strike. Beautiful slider. Throws Castellanos, and he argues with Dan Iasonia. Fewest innings pitched to 100 strikeouts by a starter since the mound moved to its current distance in 1893. Spencer Strider got to 100 tonight in 61 innings. Jacob deGrom took 61 and two-thirds. Fly ball down the left field line toward the wall, and this ball is caught by Palacios. Right over the wall, he robbed a home run from Juan Soto. That's a big league play in the left field corner to steal a home run from Soto. Look at Josh Palacios! Do it, Josh! Here's a high fly ball from Buxton, right center field. Mullins racing back to the wall. Cedric up against the fence, reaches out and makes a spectacular grab, crashing into the wall in right center. Oh, Lordy, Cedric Mullins! On the third batter in the 10th pitch of the game, Cedric Mullins no regard for a body that has been banged up. He throws a strike, that ball's well hit. Alice called back. Oh, he's got it at the yellow line. He did it. Alex Call, very little time to get all the way back, but he did. Ball is driven in the gap at 108 and perfect timing. Michael Harris is second, you take too many Again, if Mullins hits a home run here, put the birdbath on the front page of every newspaper. I mean, we take a single, too, but I'm just saying. Oh, in the right field. Mullins, did he do it? Yes. Yes. Yes, he did. It's a tsunami. Cedric Mullins completes the cycle and sends Camden Yards into Waterworld. Wow. Single, triple, double. And then a long ball here in the eighth to complete the cycle. So much accomplished already in his major league career, his Hall of Fame career. And tonight he has a chance 
to earn his 200th Major League win. Swung on and missed strike three. Kershaw comes back and strikes out the side. Now you start to look at what Clayton Kershaw has been able to do. A strikeout for Kershaw. Swung on and missed strike three. Rolling right along. I mean, it has been a vintage Kershaw performance. And Clayton Kershaw becomes the 117th pitcher in Major League history to win 200 games. Oh, what a diving play made by Baez. Gets oh. up and throws him out. Oh. That was unreal. Goodness. You run out of words with Javier Baez. Javi Baez flying through the air. Backhands a scorcher off the bat of Profar. One of the great plays you'll see. Hope today's the day for all the fans here cheering him on for this milestone. One hit till 2000. There it is. 2000. A milestone moment for a Pittsburgh icon back home. Touch City. Maria and the kids, how good is it that they can enjoy that here in Pittsburgh? Man, it's hard to even speak right now. <laughs> what a beautiful thing. Andrew McCutcheon, an amazing milestone, and the fans don't want to sit down. What a moment here at PNC Park. In the center field, way back. Mullins on the run, at the track, at the wall. He leaps. And it is caught, caught by Mullins. He brought it back. One of the all-time great catches you will ever see. He took a three-run shot away from Buxton. That was real, and that was spectacular. He can put that on the highlight reel for him to get his first gold glove. He is getting close. There's a deep drive to right center on the run. Tochran back toward the wall. Dives, did he make the catch? I think he made a fantastic catch. Mike Tochman running full speed, diving backhanded catch. One of the best catches I've seen in a long, long time. Sensational. Tochman playing around towards left center. This ball's hitting right center. 3 2. Fly ball right center. Kiermeyer, a long run, dives, and he's got it! Just when you think you've seen it all, Kevin Kiermeyer shows you something else. Oh my goodness! One of the best ever from Kevin Kiermeyer! Get up, get out of your chair. That one deserves a standing ovation. A diving grab deep in right center field from Kevin Kiermeyer. Three balls, two strikes, the payoff pitch. Fastball in there, called strike three. Zach Granke's done it. He's struck out 1,000 different batters across his major league career. Just the fifth pitcher ever to do it. Welcome to a big, big club, Joey Weimer. And Zach Granke walks off the mound with two more strikeouts in the inning. And now Freddie Freeman will come to the dish with an opportunity to get career hit number 2,000. Line ball, right center, racing on back. Tucker, he can't get it. It rolls to the wall, arriving at second base. Freddie Freeman, career hit 2,000. And all together fitting and proper, it is with a double. Two doubles today. He leads the league in two base hits and a standing ovation for Freddie Freeman. Hit number 2,000. Luis Arise, four for four today, getting ready to face another pitcher. <laughs> he did it again, and this time he's going to drive in a run. Maybe two. Here comes Bernie. He'll score. Five for five for Arise. And he's back to 400. Luis Arise for the third time in 16 days, just a little over two weeks, has his third five-hit game. And now deep short, Bobby Wood Jr. throws. He got him! You want outs above average? That's way above average. Look at the fully extended Jr. To his feet in his flash, over the top of his throw. He's got tremendous skills. One hopper on the money. Beautiful play. Jose Ramirez will lead off the bottom of the sixth inning. Jose solo shot in the first two-run homer in the third. High fly ball, right it. field, Ref Snyder back, 
He's going to wave goodbye. It's the first three homer game in the career of Jose Ramirez. Jose Ramirez with a majestic blast to the seats in right. And Cleveland has taken a 4-2 lead. Looking for the first combined no-hitter in Tigers history. It started with Matt Manning, Jason Foley, and now Alex Lang ahead of Guerrero. From the belt, the 0-2 pitch, swinging a chopper left side, charging in McKinstry on the first no-hitter. For the first time in franchise history, the Tigers have thrown a combined no-hitter. And they have done it here today, Jimmy. What a win for the Tigers, a no-hitter this afternoon. Ronald breaks. And did he keep his hand on the bag? Yes, Ronald has stolen another one. Give him 40 stolen bases now. Leading the National League, two off the Major League lead. He is uh, no question the front runner in the NL MVP conversation. 20 homers, 40 bags, 50 RBIs in a single season. I mean, these numbers are otherworldly, and we're not even at the All-Star break yet. Well, if you're going to get your 400 save, you're going to have to earn this one. The 3 2 pitch. Ground ball to third. Harrison's got it. Bobbles for a moment. Fires across the diamond in time. It's save number 400 for Craig Kimbrell. And it comes in the city where he had made his mark originally. And the Phillies win it 6 to 4. A little individual history. That's a big number. That is awesome. Ellie De La Cruz stands in, and as he does, the entire Reds dugout is gathered because they know they have to watch this. Three for three, triple shy of the cycle. De La Cruz, right center. Down base hit, could he go three? India around third. India scores. It's a cycle. This rookie in two weeks of the big leagues posts the first cycle for a red since 1989. Ellie Mania. Who wanted a fly ball to deep center field, sprinting back Michael Harris. Harris to the warning track. Harris will leap, and he got it. He caught the ball. <laughs> you have got to be kidding me. Michael went straight to the wall, timed his leap perfectly, and it was sorcery out there against the wall. Thing is, right after he caught it, he was the only person in the ballpark who knew where that ball was. What a magic trick for Michael Harris. Two strikes on Travis Darno. Man at second. Two down. Kenley with the 0-2 pitch. Swing and a miss. He got him. And that's 400 for Kenley Jansen. And he does it with a strikeout in the ninth inning in Atlanta. That has to be oh so sweet for the right-hander. 400 saves. And why not do it with a flourish? Amazing story. Converted catcher. Career. 400 saves. Jammed him and a pop fly, hustling out there, looking for oh, 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 he made the catch. He barehanded that ball in foul territory. Paco <laughs> racing out there and turned around a little bit and said, well, I've got the bare hand. He, he goes for it with the glove and doesn't get the glove, but he's able to barehand it. That is an unbelievable play by Franco. He takes off again. Pitch down and in. Fame throw. There's no chance. Uh, Two steals. De La Cruz had already looked a couple of times at Brian Anderson, knowing that if he got a jump, he's going to home. The throw. He stole home. The most thrilling man in baseball stole second, third, and home. This is unbelievable. He just stole home plate. A one-man show here. So often he will do things on the field you've never seen done before. Domingo Herman trying to join Don Larson, David Wells, and David Cohn in Yankees history. Baseball is not at a night like this since Felix Hernandez in 2012. Domingo Herman, one out away from forever. Grounded to third. Donaldson has it. Twenty.
84th perfect game in baseball history.